Assistant Minister. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. And this week, so much of the Albanese Labor government's cost of living measures have come into effect from the 1st of July. And this is really important right across the country, and particularly in my region on the far north coast of New South Wales. We all know people are doing it tough, and I know in my area they certainly have been. And that's why we have continued to respond by offering important cost of living relief. We know there is more to do, but this makes such a big difference to people in my area. First of all, our tax cuts for every single taxpayer across the country. And for my area, that's 71,000 people that will receive a tax cut so people can keep more of what they earn. And this has been a huge issue, and people have responded very positively to the fact that they are getting that tax cut. And of course, on average, in my area, it's $1,384 for people that they will be receiving that tax cut. A really important difference it will make when it comes to cost of living. And of course, the energy bill relief, $300 for every household and $325 for eligible small businesses. Again, a major issue that people have raised with me, and really important to have this in place. Now, also for my area, one of the other major cost of living initiatives, the freeze on the cost of PBS medicines, particularly with a large number of elderly people in my region, I know firsthand what a difference it will make for them. And this is on top of our um, already in place policies for cheaper medicines and, of course, our tripling of the bulk billing incentive as well, uh, because accessing healthcare when you need it is vitally important, and particularly for those older Australians with often very complex care needs. So uh, many people in my area are very pleased to have that freeze on the PBS medicines. And, of course, we've got the freeze on deeming rates too, which for retirees is vitally important. Uh, we also see some of the really strong action that we're taking when it comes to cost of living relief, wiping about $3 billion from student hex debt. Again, many students had those uh, major hex debts, and we've acted on that because we've listened to people's concerns firsthand about what needs to be in place. And of course, all of these cost of living measures comes on top of a third consecutive pay rise for 2.6 million workers that we backed. We backed as a government because it's important they had that pay rise. And all of these measures build on some of the many ones we've already delivered, such as cheaper childcare, fee-free TAFE, and as I said, the biggest expansion in um, bulk billing as well. We've also had major investments in building more houses, and of course, our increases to paid parental leave, so vitally important important, particularly for women, in terms of them being able to access the workforce. It's great for families and it's great for the economy. So right across, just absolutely across the country, we've had such a huge range of cost of living measures to help people who are really doing it tough.